everyone, I'm Ashton and this is SLU Science. Today we're going to be talking about slime bases and color. Everyone who visits SLUMU gets a ticket to our DIY bar where you make your very own custom slime. You choose from eight bases which are all made of white glue or clear glue. Today for our white glue base we have a snow fizz slime. Now, whenever you add color to white, it's gonna turn into kind of a diffused pastel version of that color. So we're gonna see that today with our neon purple. As you can see, this slime is still very vibrant. It's just a little bit lighter than the pigment we have here in our jar. Let's move on to clear. When you add pigment to clear slime, it stays very vibrant and true to its color while giving it a little bit of a sheen. Let's see what deep blue looks like. As you can see, this blue really closely resembles what's in our jar. Now, let's talk about color theory and how colors interact with each other. Here we have our neon purple and our sky blue. Blue and purple are right next to each other on the color wheel, also known as analogous colors. Let's see what they mix into. Our analogous colors interacted really well together and gave us this beautiful purple. It's the perfect mix of the two. Now let's try complementary colors, or colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. We're gonna test it out with deep blue and satin orange. I've got equal parts of blue and orange. What do you think's gonna happen when we mix them? So pretty for now. Uh-oh, this is not the most attractive color, right? Complementary colors look really beautiful next to each other, but when mixed up, they usually turn brown or gray. Okay, everyone, that's all the time we have today for SLU Science. We hope that you learned something about color and that you had fun. See you next time.